G'day, I'm James. I'm a math guy. Here's another helpful home hint from the math guy, me. This time it's about braiding one's hair. In fact, one often wants to go out with a beautiful braid in one's locks, and that's a grand idea. I fully applaud that idea. So how do you do that? Well, normally to make a braid, you take three strands of hair, you braid them, and then tie the ends together with a rubber band. Lovely. But sometimes when you do it in the morning, one's a little bit forgetful, one's tired. You might do something silly, like, for example, put the rubber band in first and forget to actually braid one's hair. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. So what could we do about that particular problem? Suppose you're out in the world and you realize you did not actually braid your hair. Well, it turns out math saves the day. There's a mathematical way to braid your hair even if you put the rubber band in first, and I'm going to show you how. Whew. Okay, here is my embarrassing predicament. You can see I put the rubber band in, but I forgot to actually braid my hair. Oh my goodness. All right, so what can we do here? Well, I'm still gonna to attempt to make a braid, and what I mean by that is I still have to make three strands of hair, which is fine. I can do it this way. And you'll see if you do that, you've got two gaps. You'll have a left gap and a right gap. What I'm gonna do is actually move this rubber band knot through each of the two gaps, left, right, and then right, left. But I've actually got two directions to choose. I'm gonna go in sort of this forward direction, or I'll come up from behind, the backward direction. So here's the sequence of moves I'm going to do. I'm going to do left forward, then I'm going to do right backward, then I'm going to do right left backward, and then I'm going to do right forward. Looks like a bit of a tangle, looks like a bit of a mess, but if you do that, lo and behold, out comes a gorgeous braid. In fact, I've still got more space, I'm going to do it all again and repeat this all the way up to my scalp. Bingo, day saved, didn't have to take the rubber band out, I can still make my braid. In fact, this is a lovely technique. You can't quite see it with hair, but I can tell you, if you do it with like a flat strand, like felt like this, you can actually see each particular strand in this braid has no twists in it. So this is actually a very comfortable way to braid your hair. You'll have no twists at the top of your scalp. Brilliant. In fact, uh, leather workers have known about this technique for a long while, and mathematicians have talked about braids with no free ends like this, just for many, many decades. It is gorgeous stuff. Math has a wonderful application. Here it is, another helpful home hint with mathematics. Grand indeed.